Today we're going to talk about whether or not you need a beaded rope or a speed rope in your skipping game. So let's do this. What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, people, and welcome again to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle. It's been a minute since I've uploaded here. We have been very, very busy, as you can see, so please, please uh, just do excuse this mess. I know Nathan's really unhappy to be filming like this today, but there's just too much to clear up right now. So we're gonna carry on, we're gonna keep it rolling. Today, we're gonna talk about whether or not you need a beaded rope or a speed rope in your skipping game. So let's do this. Right people, welcome back. So uh, this has been a long time in the making. We are about to launch our first ever Money Rope Beaded Edition skipping rope. And uh, we've also got a whole new line of speed ropes coming, a whole new line of kind of colorways. So tomorrow it goes live at 4 p.m. UK time. Please set those alarms. They are gonna go very, very quick and stocks are super limited because capacity behind me now is becoming very, very constrained. So like, uh, yeah, get online, please, please, please. Just do keep on supporting, man. Everything that you guys have done in these last few weeks with the mat launch and everything else, the apparel launch, has been absolutely insane, immense. And um, considering we're in a pandemic still, things are still a bit crazy around the world. We just hope you guys are keeping safe. And I just thank you so much for keeping us busy out here. Anyway, we're gonna get straight into this video, right, people? I'm gonna literally unbox or unpackage the new ropes that are about to launch, right? So we've got a whole new line of colorways with the speed rope, the money rope, and also the beaded rope collection. So the beaded rope guys comes with a grip tape. So you're gonna see exactly what you get in this pack, but you're gonna get a grip tape with this. You're gonna have some soft premium beads. The feel of these beads, by the way, is like unlike anything you'll see on the market, right? Like they're not the hard beads. They've got a little bit of weight around them. So when it comes to your workouts, whether or not you wanna start getting into freestyle skipping, beads can be the way forward. So I'm gonna kinda of share with you my experiences. I don't tend to use beads a lot. I'm a speed rope guy, you guys know that, or a legacy rope guy. But there's a lot of people getting into freestyle skipping, releases, and they like the feel of beads. So we're gonna just literally today show you how they look on camera, how they feel for me, and give you my feedback. These are now with the money rope handles, of course, right? The infamous, most in demand speed rope on the planet. So we've just attached the two together, soft beads, money rope handles and also a custom branded grip tape then i'm going to show you exactly the same kind of feel the combos that i'm going to be sharing with the speed rope and you guys get to choose really what you're after okay remember skipping is about enjoying yourselves expressing yourselves learning new tricks new skills and it just comes down to personal preference right it comes down to your feel what type of workout goals what type of kind of workout kind of feel you're looking for right whether it's tricks freestyle like i said just bossy skipping, just getting an intense workout. So we've got you now covered now. We've got the Ignite rope, the Mechanism rope, we've got the Legacy rope, which is obviously the heavy rope, speed rope for tricks, skills, combinations, and now the beaded rope, wherever or not you wanna kinda of get into your freestyle skipping. So let's unpackage this. I'm gonna keep this to the side for a second. We're gonna start with the beaded rope now, right? Now sizing for the rope, we can show you as well, okay? It's very, very simple. The beaded rope pretty much comes on a thread, right? So this is for really beginners out there, man. I know a lot of people will see beaded ropes in action on social media, on Instagram. Do read these instructions, by the way, right? They're really important. Right, so straight off the bat, right? Once you get your rope out the bag, you read the instructions, of course. Basically, right, you have the option to use this grip tape or not. Now, I would recommend, if you're gonna go with the beaded option and you're gonna start kind of throwing this rope around and you don't have access to a big kind of matted floor, um, you definitely need to start putting this on for protection. Um, and also, if you are gonna be doing those releases, like this is a really good way to get the, the kind of feel, the control of the grip, um, help you kind of catch the rope, etc. But it's mainly to protect these handles, all right? Now, we're still in production of the Money Rope 2.0, or the new Money Rope, which is gonna have a very thick handle wall, very protected. But I, I would recommend, guys, if you are beginners to like kind of freestyle skipping and releases, go with the Icon Rope, all right? Like it's a longer handle rope, it's made 
for releases so it's a lot more durable and stronger. This is really for more kind of intermediate and kind of getting into advanced levels if you're gonna start using a short handle rope, all right? So you need to be very, very accurate. When we get started, yeah, this is the kind of length that you're looking at. So if I step onto the mat, you can see the rope comes up quite, quite high to me, right? Naturally, for beaded ropes, right? If you're gonna start getting into freestyle skipping, you kind of want a shorter rope. You don't, again, want massive friction, massive drag on the floor. You don't want to damage this rope. We've always talked about jump, like kind of jump rope lengths on this channel in loads and loads of detail. And I've always mentioned that it's always down to someone's style and kind of where their arms sit, where their form sits, how they rotate the rope. And if you're basically someone who's just getting into skipping, you're naturally gonna have your arms a little bit wider out most likely. You're naturally gonna need a longer rope, but don't make it too long so that you're really just kind of getting too much drag on each jump, right? Now, when it comes to sizing this thing, a lot of people are always gonna ask me, can you add knots? Now, I've added knots in the past, especially when I used to do kind of like the icon kind of stuff. And like most freestyle skippers out there, won't really use knots. The style of skipping that I like to use, obviously like the kind of combinations, double unders, crossovers, um, that allows me to use knots, all right? Now, I'm not someone who likes to freestyle or kind of release ropes as it were, but I'm gonna just show you off the bat again what happens if you if you do add knots, right? Now, if you're adding knots, I'm gonna come closer to the camera. It doesn't look pretty at all. If you wanna measure this out, right, and you don't wanna have these kind of clunky knots in your ropes, you literally just have to feed the thread through the handle, okay? There's a knot inside there. You just take the knot out, you remove the beads as necessary, and then cut the rope, cut the thread. Remember, don't cut too much. And then you can put the beads back on, put the knot back in, and then it's just good to go, right? I'm gonna show you how it works with knots because a lot of people always say to me, can you use knots with your rope? Now, with this beaded rope, the way it works, especially with the soft, with the soft kind of feel, the soft beads that we have, they're not the hard beads, right? So if you were to kind of squeeze with your finger, you'll see that there's a little bit of softness to them. The hard beads out there, they, have, they carry no weight, okay? So in terms of feel, they're very difficult in terms of feel. When you find that you're spinning or rotating the rope, they're very light. Whereas this one, what we've done with it is we've added these premium feel beads. So they add a little bit more weight. So the money rope is around about 105 grams, 110 grams. And with this, you're looking at about 130 grams. And it just feels really nice, okay? Now, we're gonna hopefully get, Nathan's got another camera here. Maybe get Nathan to come a little bit closer to catch the sound of the rope. So I'm gonna do some double unders so you can hear how it moves through the air. Maybe just pushing a little cross. And it just has this nice kind of whooshy sound, very, very slick. It sounds very nice, it kind of cuts through the air still. And this is using the knots, by the way, okay? So it just proves you can add knots to your rope Again, depends on your workout, depends on what you're trying to use it for. I'm going to show you a few little things you could do. If we go a little bit more intense, okay, a bit of footwork. Nice. Maybe some boxer steps. A little boxer step with a cross. A little run step. And it, and it just does exactly what you could do with a speed rope. The difference with a speed rope is you're gonna get some drag with these beads, right? It still feels smooth, it still feels effortless. The thing is with the extra kind of weight, you can, do, you can still do the tricks, still get a workout. I'm still getting a little bit out of breath just doing that, but what it is is when you're rotating, that drag makes you work a little bit harder to get that rope around. Now, when you're doing things like tricks, as it's a beaded rope, what people like is the fact that that drag, it kind of gives you more feel around the handle. So especially when you're coming to do releases, I'm not gonna show you no releases today. <laughs> I leave that for the freestylers. But when you're doing things like those releases and you, and you let go of that rope, the beads will, let you, will allow you to know where the rope is in that release. It'll slow it all down. And people do releases with speed ropes. I've seen people do releases with heavy ropes. It can be done, right, with the, with the right skill level. but reason why people start with beads is because it has that feel. So, like I said, you can do everything you want or can do with a speed rope.
Um, and it moves nice, right? Beady ropes are always gonna move nice. Beady ropes from Russia Flex are always gonna move, move nice. But they're secure, as it's on a thread, um, you, you have no real kind of worries that these are just gonna shatter, especially, like I said, because they're very premium. The soft beads, when they clip the ground, and you want it just to literally clip the ground, again, no massive drag, you're gonna get really nice feedback when it hits the floor. Especially if you're using like a, a mat like this, I think it's gonna work perfectly. With the short handles, if you're used to kind of the money rope grip, really nice, again, you've got that little wing at the end of the handle to allow you to manipulate the rope, do really cool and nice stuff. You can do all the freestyle tricks, combinations like you do with the speed ropes, and it's gonna feel really, again, really just nice and smooth. I'm gonna show you one more, one more action before we pull out the speed rope. So let's go here. And you can kind of do things like that. Smashing the boxes. And it feels pretty cool. Like, personally, it's not gonna be a rope that I take to the gym or get my kind of skipping rope workouts with. But if you wanna give it a go, again, if you're a beginner, if you can trial it out, there's no, there's no reason why you shouldn't have it in your bag, just to mix it up. And like I said, when you are doing your freestyle, when you are releasing, having the beads will allow you to get those releases done and also get that feel so you can improve your freestyle game for the future. Right, so remember, if you're interested in those beady ropes, we've got six new colorways, give them a try, test it out. Trust me, you're not gonna regret it. I'm gonna quickly pull out, pull out the, the infamous speed rope now. Another new colorway coming out. Um, a point to mention here, people, is again, just depends on style, depends on how easy you wanna make things for yourself, what kind of workout you want, all right? So let's do the same kind of actions. You've seen it loads of times on this channel, but I'm gonna talk you through why you probably want a speed rope, if that's what you want. All right, quick and easy now, speed rope. Again, for the beginners. Um, this, you, just, you literally just need to have one of these in your bag, right? This, uh, super effortless, easy to size. The knots work always, always so well, like with the speed rope, right? I'm a big advocate for knots, uh, have been for a long time on this channel. You can trim it, you can cut it, you can do what you want with it, but for me, you can literally walk into the gym, size this rope up, and you can get going. In terms of workout, in terms of tricks, this moves fast. It moves fast, cuts through the air, and it doesn't have that kind of drag that the beads have, right? If you're trying to do the kind of Mayweather combos, or the Rush Athletics combos, all the things that you see on this channel, um, the speed rope for me, is always gonna be the king, all right? Because you can, you can manipulate this rope differently. You can, you know, get that speed you need, obviously a speed rope, get that speed that you need, the revolutions, uh, to get those combinations and transitions done very, very slick. Not to say you can't do it, like I said, with the bead rope, you could do it with the bead rope. It just takes a little bit more effort and it's probably more designed for releasing the handle or releasing the rope, catching it, because it's got that slowness, I guess, through the air so you can, you can catch it. So with this one, you know, you can, you can feel, you can always feel where the rope is with this one as well, but it doesn't have that added weight or that added drag. So when you're doing double unders, you can crush them. You don't have to jump uh, as high maybe. And if you are using a bead rope, you just have to push it a lot harder, a little, a little bit more harder than the speed rope. So that's really the main difference is you can, you can still do freestyle with this. You can still release it. You see it online, um, but in terms of the beads, that's, that's kind of what it's made for, especially for beginners, I feel. With the speed rope, this is, just the, this is just the look. Very nice, light, easy. Work on your footwork, work on your speed. And it's just, it's just effortless, right? Both ropes are gonna be good to have in your bag. Um, this was just a quick, well, I'll say quick, it's probably been a long video. Um, it's just more of a case of just showing the beginners what they can get with a beaded rope, what it looks like in action, how it feels in your hand. So coming from me who doesn't really use beaded ropes, um, not very kind of pro beaded rope in terms of my training, I just feel like speed ropes work for me best, but it's worth trying a beaded rope if you want to kind of, I guess, up your game or get into the freestyle game. So hopefully that helped you guys. We're gonna, yeah, Go live, like I said, 4 p.m. tomorrow, set those alarms. I think we've got 13, 13 new colorways, rainbow colorways, you'll see it all on screen now, but 
be there, man. Um, you guys are absolutely crushing it. Look at what you're doing, man. We're creating history here together. And again, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, man, join us, like I always say, with the hottest fitness community growing across the world right now. So guys, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the night in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.